Referee then Charlie Roth, age 50. Refereed around the Cincinnati and Pittsburgh area for a long number of years. Just look at this. Lee Foreman was just 27. He's got to win. A wide other round. Lyle showing foot movement, connecting with a stiff left jab. He tried good. He's using a very good jab. Very stiff story. Seven and a half years in Colorado State Prison. May and Lee scored an 11th round CK. Right by Lyle. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. George staggering off the ropes, and Lyle all over him. Over here to Gil Clancy, sitting right next to me for instruction. You see George in trouble. I said before, Howard, it shows that Lyle has no fear of Foreman. None at all. No fear. We'll get very confident and run away. Well, Lyle with a good left. George fighting back now. Howard, as you can see, Lyle. That could be a mistake, Kenny. Right, come around and Foreman keep those hands up. Now Lyle is hurt. Now Lyle is hurt. Quickly, Foreman landed a left and a right and another left, and Lyle's in trouble. He's against the ropes, trying to cover. Foreman against the ropes. Certain it is, he didn't know what. He's a little shaky. Punch him. No question about that. Ken Norton can attest to that. I told you we'd have a slugfest, and that's what we've got. Very good counter right hand by uh, Lyle there. Very good. Two active rounds. The right hand is working very well on Foreman's left hand. The left hand is down, and Ron's going right over. But George Foreman. Lyle must be careful. You're right about the use of the right. There it was at the ropes. But then again, Howard, I think Lyle is playing possum. He's trying to wait for Foreman through a right hand. Third round. Foreman the red trunks. Lyle the white. Where the boxers, kids playing in the playground. Or a good direct. Chet Forty, our producer, retimed the second round in our truck. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a right, then a left. Foreman looking over here. Lyle to the neutral corner. It's mandatory eight count. Foreman trying to hold together. Trying to keep active, except for that charade in Toronto against the frightful five. Now Foreman fighting back. Oh, right. Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now George, now, now George struck back. Now, now George fought back with a magnificent right. George fought back. Lyle was George with that punching power that we talked about in prior fights. Lyle is now, Lyle is now ready to throw. His hand was screaming to form and hit him in the body. George at the head. Lyle is now wide open. He is right. Lyle trying to swing back. This is an artistic. But it is slugging the way the public wants. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Now Foreman was staggered. Foreman was staggered by a Lyle left. The Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down. Lyle fights back. Lyle, Foreman, as Kenny said, both fighters leave themselves wide open. Call it over the slow-mo, Kenny. Here we go right now. Both fighters leave themselves wide open. They're both relying totally on power here. George is using his strength. He was hurt. He comes back and he staggers Lyle. I mean, Lyle has a mental edge right here. A good left by Lyle. Foreman holding on. We're going here. Foreman we're going, Howard. Staggering Foreman. all over the ring. Lyle against the rope, but he doesn't even seem to be with it. Then he made the point that George's hands are down, and so they are. George. By Howard, total guts here and power. Power right there. Good right and falling forward onto Lyle. Now it's Lyle. What an incredible fight. Utterly without boxing skills. Just punching away. Each fighter in turn. 
Foreman's using his power in. Law's waiting just a little too long. They're both fighting. Law's got to come back with Now it's Lyle down to the canvas. Foreman punching him again and again and again when it looked like George was done. This time it may be over. This time it may be over. Lyle's not going to make it. Lyle, he's not going to make it. A knockout in the fifth round by George Foreman when it seemed Lyle had command of this ever-changing belt. The ebb and flow of the action almost unbelievable. First one, then the other. Foreman floored twice. Foreman floored twice in the fourth round. Coming back to win. And it's just a...